name is Emily Day. I'm from Torrance, California, and I play on the AVP. I've been playing on the beach for over 10 years. Um, been able to travel all around the world, representing the USA, all around the US on the AVP tour. I've won nine times, but with those ups, there's been some downs. Uh, in 2016, my partner and I were on our way to qualifying for the 2016 Rio Olympics. And we were in a point race with some other teams from the US. We're only allowed to send two teams. And unfortunately, my partner and I, we came up team number three. It was absolutely devastating. I think it hurt, it hurt me and my, myself and my team, my teammate obviously, but my family members I felt like I let down. Felt like I let down the USA staff, um, everybody who believed and supported me. It was really tough. Um, my partner and I, we actually decided to break up right there in Germany after our last tournament, after knowing we aren't making the Olympics. So just a ton of bricks piling up against me. But, you know, I knew I still wanted to play. I wanted to compete. I was able to team up with Brittany Hochever and we had, I think, maybe a week of practice before the granddaddy of all AVP tournaments, the Manhattan Beach Open. Britt and I had been good friends, so we knew that we could have good chemistry, but we just didn't know how we were gonna do. So we practiced together, and we started the tournament, you know, Manhattan Beach, again, the biggest of them all, the deepest sand, the most fans, the most courts, the most players, and we just clicked. We won on Friday, won on Saturday, and then the next thing I knew, we were in the finals. It was unbelievable. We're in the finals of the Manhattan Beach Open, and I'm from Torrance, so now I have all my family and friends, you know, everybody who supported me through this entire volleyball journey, including like not making the Olympics. They were right there, sideline, I'm about to play in one of the biggest tournaments I've ever played in. So we're in the match. Britt and I win game one, feeling good. However, we lose game two, okay? And now we're going into game three. And I'm like trying not to think to myself, okay, you're in the Manhattan Beach Open. This is your second most desired dream under the Olympics to win. You're in game three, bring it on. And so, of course, game three comes down to the wire. It's back and forth. It's tied 13-13. Then we side out, we go up 14-13, and it's back and forth. And I just remember, I'm on the end line, jump serving. My opponent passes the ball sets it, she gets a hit, and Britt digs the ball. And the whole time I'm like, just set her, just set her the ball. Give her a nice, easy up and down set, and Britt smashes it, and we win the Manhattan Beach Open. I didn't even, like, I couldn't believe it. Didn't even know how to react. Family and friends screaming. My sister rushes the court before I even can shake the hands of the ref or the other team. It was one of the best feelings in the world and I'm so lucky to have done it from in front of family and friends. I'm so happy that I didn't give up after the 2016 Olympics and not making it.